there is one stone. One particular stone. I love it. We all do. In the bare branches, wings as dark as a winter morning, we sing our song to it. Our croaking rhapsody. Cain found it, this stone, this particular stone. It has particular angles. It is a particular mass. It nestles in the palm with the weight of grievance. It lends it power to the arm. It shatters bone, a brother's skull. We were there on that day, darkening the sky with our wings. The first communion, the crow and the stone, and a brother's blood crying to deaf heaven from the ground. I loved the stone. I paid particular Killer attention to it. Nimrod found the stone and took a hunter's pleasure in its shape, smoothed and sharpened it with his keen flint. Bear and elk, mammoth, sabred cat, pelts for Nimrod's wives and carcasses for our table. My feathered brothers, our crooked clan. Lashed to a branch, bound with leather, my beautiful stone became an axe, a hatchet, chopper of trees, but all too soon, hewer of bones. The tribe of man took up the axe, laying a banquet for crows, while fire rose from thatch and smoke from their vineyards. Then Vulcan, that crafty man with a body bent as a raven's beak learnt to smelt iron. My kinsfolk left to follow the new-fangled sword, the lance, the musket, the cannon. But not I. I did not feast upon the plains of Marathon, nor the fields of Flanders, like the kites and the circling buzzards. No glutton am I. My love is a delicate idolatry. We are the crow and the stone. We were together at the beginning. David found our beautiful stone. His sling toppled a warrior in bronze. He gave thanks to the god of the stone, and I blessed him as I stabbed at the giant of Gath's blind eye. But that was long ago. I watched the stone with patient love. I rejoice when a new hand grasps it, and, thrilled with its weight and particular sharpness, lifts it. My brothers and I dance on the biting wind. <laughs> Little Peter, pushed from his bike, has found the stone, nestled at the roadside. His older brother, delighted with his prank, does not see him approach, does not see the stone raised high. And brought down to the sorrow of mothers and the rhapsody of crows. If you enjoyed The Crow and the Stone, listen to more Daily Ghost stories, and don't forget to like and subscribe.